Hello and welcome to the guide of Panzerbuch 39. In this one I will be mispronouncing the game name multiple times and there is also time steps. If you're looking to get a good tank destroying gun, this isn't exactly it. So instead, buy out the first tank destruction ribbons to get their trees and level up to Panzerschek to save massive amounts of credits. What this gun is good at is killing planes, light vehicles and dependent on your skill level, infantry. Be sure that you know its flaws before committing to the gun. The build that I would actually recommend is match sites and that is it. That is because as an anti-tank gun, Panzerbuchse is not exactly great. Since it's a single shot rifle, the recoil doesn't matter, which means the spring is useless. Ammo choice is the only one that I would recommend changing from the recommended build. So if you want more damage against light tanks or planes, get Panzergeschoss bullet. But what about the barrel? Barrel makes changes to the damage over range, but the gun already has so much damage that it doesn't make a difference against infantry. So against infantry, just get the sights. Stock bullet is 1.32 credits per shot and mesh sights are 16.8. The gun itself costs 1.98 credits per shot. And in case you're wondering, the SMK H is 3.2 credits per shot and Panzergeschoss is 5. So relatively speaking, this gun is very cheap to maintain considering it's hard to use up a bunch of bullets because it's a single shot gun. If you're hard pressed for credits, running it stock is also an idea. The reason why I don't run any RPM mods on the gun is twofold. The first is that the sway increase is actually a bit of an annoyance. And the second being that the gun barely gets any improvement in reloading speed. So I would advise against running it, since after comparing back to back shots, the difference between the best trigger and no trigger was barely 2 frames, which is 34 milliseconds or so difference. Every spring on the other hand does actually lower the recoil, but I wouldn't exactly call it useful considering it's a single shot rifle. And the reload difference is a bit bigger, of course. So we don't officially have the stats released by Reto, but considering that the cost and penetration is pretty much the same as the Soviet PTRD counterpart, we can assume it's close to the same values. That means that the best penetration is with SMKH bullet and the most damage to vehicles is Panzergeschoss bullet. Now since your targets will most likely be light armored vehicles and planes or infantry, stock should be enough for that. But if you are planning to ignore infantry, well Panzergeschoss bullet is nice for added damage compared to stock for shooting tanks or planes. Fast reload is quite mandatory for this gun since you would need to reload after every shot. The DPS increase with the fast reload is probably the biggest one you can get, so this is the first thing you should be getting for this setup. Infantry first is the best tank or plane killing option and also helps against APCs, but ultimately would make the gun a bit less versatile. Having heavy set is probably the safest choice so you could use the gun in pretty much every situation except against mediums and heavy tanks. So as always there are trade-offs. Panzerbuse is an anti-tank rifle so obviously it can dispatch of tanks, but different to PTRS it takes longer to do so, which makes it less viable. Lights from my testing can be killed in 4 shots although 3 shot kills are possible they are pretty rare. Having no bullet or infantry first would yield 5 shot kills. Mediums can be killed in 6 shots with infantry first and bullets, but way more without them. Heavies I would recommend avoiding at all costs, instead just use HVs or Panzerschreck. Because with Panzerbuchsche it will take way too much time which means you will be picked off by a guy, or the tanker himself will manage to get you. So that and the amount of time wasted on tanks to kill them is essentially the reason why I wouldn't recommend using it as a sole anti-tank equipment. The Panzerbuchse is a single shot rifle so you really need to play it as such, which means picking corners slowly and having a retreat path or cover in case you miss, and need to reload an extra bullet. Also the gun is massive and gets stuck over doorways, which makes it so you can't instantly shoot it. To get around this you can look at the ground, but it would require pretty good aim to still get the kill once you snap back on him. Bybots are not particularly useful unless you're actually really close range to the tank, unless you're proning behind him or to the side of him. Against infantry you will get sniped if you're using bypods, so keep that in mind. Drifting to places I should leave So close to the end